very excited. I've been saving for months. sugar got home from meeting up with Mel aka Small Art and it was really nice she messaged me last night saying that she's doing a spontaneous trip to Boston it was like a six and a half hour drive for her but she got here last night I was just thinking about the first Inktober I ever joined and one of the prompts that I was following was one that was hosted by Mel so from finding Mel's art to following all her socials to finally getting to meet her in person today like that was so fun it was really nice to talk to someone who also sells their art online and does like content on YouTube and Instagram and she made me feel really comfortable even though I'm a little awkward around new people so Mel if you're watching, I hope you come to Boston again or maybe I can go to Upstate and we can meet again. So around a month ago, I started working on this collaboration with the Washi Station to design Washi tapes inspired by the culture, heritage, and history of Southeast Asia. So the collection is like a spotlight on Southeast Asian artists and art cultures. And I feel very passionate about this project because I feel like Southeast Asian culture is not as recognized as East Asian culture. Like when people think of Asian culture, they tend to think of Chinese, Japanese, Korean, and not a lot of people talk about the countries in South and Southeast Asia. So while working on the designs for the washi tapes, I had this really interesting experience. I was sketching out ideas inspired by Thai architecture, like the architecture of our temples and pagodas. I was thinking about Thai food, Thai folklore, and just whatever I thought represented Thailand and Thai culture and while sketching out these ideas I came to a point where I felt so scared about misrepresenting my culture. Growing up my parents sent me to an international school so we studied under an American system and I feel like I was never taught to really connect with my culture. And when I think about Thai heritage and how it's preserved and celebrated through time, it's it's a part of our culture that's taken very seriously among Thai people and there can be unintentional disrespect when you represent it in the wrong way. I've always considered myself to be a third culture kid because growing up I was sort of immersed in all these different cultures and it's never just Thai culture for me. So I experienced this thing where when I'm back home I feel like I'm not Thai enough and then when I'm here I feel like I'm not American enough and I know that's an experience that a lot of my Asian American friends experience as well and for me like I didn't grow up here but I just feel like there's a disconnect between me and my home culture in a way. So all of this was just sort of going through my mind when I was working on this design. So I took a break, took a step back and tried to focus more on my personal experiences because when I think of Thai culture as a whole it feels too big for me, like it feels bigger than me. So in the end I was thinking of my late grandma's garden back home in Bangkok. She had this little garden in front of our house and there was a little lotus pond there and sometimes you would see pink lotuses blooming in the pond and growing up whenever my family took me to the temple we would always buy lotus flowers so I feel like the lotus flower is a very good representation of 
my experience of Thai culture. I also wanted to add a cat in there somehow because I feel like that's where my art style is usually recognized by other people, like people recognize my cats. So I ended up with this lotus pond design and I wanted to add a Siamese cat in there as well. Siamese cats are actually native to Thailand because back in the day Thailand was called Siam so Siamese is actually from Thailand. The collection features 21 Southeast Asian artists and I just feel very honored that I get to be a part of that, that I get to represent our little region in Asia and bring some more representation to Southeast Asian cultures in the West. I just really want to thank Aviva who is the owner of the Washi Station for reaching out and for allowing me to take part in such an important project. So here I have some leftover Patreon goodies from the previous months and I'm working on opening a secret shop where my patrons can go back and purchase the rewards from previous months basically. So these ones are from February, we have stickers from March, April and May and today we're gonna take some pictures and count inventory. Absolute chaos and the final product. Hello friends, today we are dropping off our last few orders and I'm also gonna go to Trader Joe's because I want to get some fruits and veggies. I thrifted this really pretty sheer top for only like five dollars and I love it for a hot day I think it's perfect for the summer I feel like ever since I moved here I haven't really experienced summer in America and 
now summer in Boston. The first year I actually went home for the summer. The second year I was in a really bad period of my ED and I didn't really go out much. And then the pandemic happened and now it's this year. So I really hope that this summer I can explore Boston a little bit more, get to know the neighborhood, maybe use the city bikes or the subway more often because gas prices are going up really high. But yeah, first stop is post office. This is the best. Also throwing in some protein powder. Someone wants to say hi. Are you hungry? Your food's out. I put your food out. Go eat. Mama, mama. friends i picked up my new computer a little while ago and i'm gonna be unboxing her today i'm very excited i've been saving for months to buy this and thanks to you and all the support on my latest shop update i am finally able to afford this all the colors are so pretty i was kind of debating between pink or green but i just love anything pink so i got this one and even the packaging is so pretty let me show you look at that also super random but i got these shorts from uniqlo and they're so comfy, they're like the perfect loungewear. But let's open this.
friends, it's been a while since I vlogged. I've been dealing with a lot of adulting stuff, um, insurance and medical bills. It's just been a big headache and I haven't really had time to do a lot of art or work. I don't know if you can hear that, but my upstairs neighbor, I think they just moved in like a month ago, but they walk so loud. And I have this thing where like loud footsteps makes me really anxious. So I've been wearing my noise cancelling headphones every day while working just to cancel out all the noise. But the noise cancelling headphones also give me anxiety because I have this fear that if something happens in the background or if like someone comes in through the door, I won't hear them. There's just been a lot of anxiety inside this little head of mine. I feel like I'm back on a healthier working schedule and on Saturdays and Sundays, I actually let myself sit around and chill. So that's really nice. And I have a lot of new things today that I'm really excited to show you. First of all, I wanted to show you my Patreon rewards for June. As always, I posted a poll on my Patreon and asked my patrons to vote. And this month, the winner is the theme bookworm, which I'm really excited for because I love everything academia. Like if I had a dream aesthetic, plant, pastel, academia type of vibe. So I had a lot of ideas for this month and I was really excited to kind of try a new color palette. I feel like I've been working a lot with pinks and greens and yellows and I haven't really tried using browns and oranges. So first I'm gonna show you the print for this month. My camera's focus has been so wonky lately. This is a little Mosa Loaf wearing glasses and falling asleep on her favorite book. She has a little notepad here where she takes notes and writes down her favorite quotes and yeah as always I have this little thing at the back to tell you which month the reward is from and we have these two stickers I'm gonna insert a little B cut here so you can see them clearly but yeah I was just playing around with darker colors like dark greens dark reds dark browns I honestly love how they turned out so much and I feel like these stickers are probably like in my top three favorite patreon rewards that i've ever made and because june is also pride month happy pride to everyone i also wanted to include this sticker in the set as well so i've been calling this friend super cat and super cat is the protector of the lgbtqia plus community here to remind you that love is love and you should be proud of who you are and love each other unconditionally so super cat is going to be a little extra reward for my 15 dollars and 20 dollars tier so if you're interested you can check that out on my patreon page and sign up before june 20th peter is interviewing for a new job today so i'm not gonna talk anymore um let's pack our patreon mail <laughs>
so hot today. Oh my god. Another day, another pink smoothie. design for this I'm not sure what's the best way to advertise it I don't know I just feel like the background looks a little too plain so I might add a few doodles here and there but I just I'm out of ideas right now I need lunch I was craving Vietnamese food and there's this place um, that's like half a mile walk away from my apartment and it's owned by a family that's half Thai half Vietnamese so they have both Vietnamese and Thai food and the staff speaks both languages I'm petting Mosa by the way, she's here Whenever I meet Thai people in Boston I never know if I should speak English or Thai with them It's like I don't know if I should just walk into the restaurant and start speaking Thai or if I should start by speaking English first and then just like tell them that I'm Thai but anyways I didn't feel like having a whole conversation with a stranger today so I walked in and I was like hi I'm picking up from Alan she showed me the bag and I guess she kind of questioned whether I was Thai because of my last name and I just ended up blurting out like thank you in Thai and then she looked at me she was like oh so you're from Thailand and then she ended up asking me a few questions so I was like oh I didn't want to talk to anyone today but it's also nice to talk to someone in my native language so I got vermicelli with grilled shrimp and pork this is like one of my favorite things ever I'm gonna give you a closer look wow what's that? You wanna be an artist too? <laughs>